Creative Clay offers people a place to embrace their inner artist. Adults with special needs have been creating stunning pieces at the gallery for 25 years. But in 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic offered the chance to try something new. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Bobby Lewis is on the road in St. Pete with some artists trying to draw in a crowd with their impressive drawings. Ooh, go Craybot, go Craybot. If you're looking for a deal, look for the dancing. Yes! Woo! <laughs> the first Friday of every month, you'll find Creative Clay's first mascot doing his best to stop traffic and drive sales. Last month, surprisingly, went really well. Pinellas County Schools has partnered with Creative Clay for a program called Transition. It's vocational training where students with disabilities learn the business of being an artist. It kind of helps them to be learn how to be independent out in the community, um, interact with customers. They learn how to use the Square app to make sales. We'll have like a little market and what we do is we we come out with ideas of what we want to paint or what we want to draw. Rule number one of selling, develop good marketing so ideas. I decided to make a Crave Clay's first mascot named Craybot. Cardboard, buttons. James Beck created the robot costume. Lab duct tape. With hopes that cars may stop at the Creative Clay art market. I couldn't be more proud. If they get their attention, they might come by someday. It works like a charm during the dancing debut. And look, we have a customer right now. We try to teach them, you know, especially when you're trying to sell and market yourself, you don't want to pressure people because then you scare them away. They run the tent by themselves. They make the sales, they wrap the artwork. Most artists get paid. A good sale has a way of putting a pep in your step. I see him dancing all the time. When he and learning to sell is reason to dance. Who wouldn't want to take a really cool picture with our Craybot and, you know, put it on their Instagram page. Now, Creative Clay will host an outdoor market every first Friday of the month. If you want to check it out, the next one's coming up on December 4th. There are currently eight students in the Transitions program.